The next Jordan Poyer could very well already be on this team. We're going to discuss those two signings by the Buffalo Bills, under-the-radar signings by Brandon Bean, as well as a potential draft selection at 27th overall, which would be a perfect replacement. Hey, Bills Mafia, welcome to my channel, Bills News Consolidated. In today's video, we got to discuss a potential change here at safety. Jordan Poyer could very well be lost in free agency due to getting more money. What is going to happen here? Damar Hamlin going down last year. We don't know if he's going to be back. Jaquan Johnson was kind of lackluster in play. So what is going to happen here with the Buffalo Bills at the safety position? And Brandon Bean has already made moves. Sean McDermott made Micah Hyde. He made Jordan Poyer into who they are. You know, Jordan Poyer coming to Buffalo only had 10 game starts before becoming a freaking star here in Buffalo. So looking at it right now, the Buffalo Bills made two under the radar signings this offseason, one being Zane Anderson and the other one being Jalen Maiden. Both these guys are dynamic and both have actually ran a faster 40 time than Jordan Poyer. We know that both Maiden and also Anderson are both faster than Jordan Poyer. We always discuss it. It's a mixture of awareness. It's a mixture of being fast and also aware. Reading and reacting. The faster you could read and react to the play, you don't need to be necessarily the fastest player in the world. So having these athletes here as Maiden and Zane Anderson, knowing that they ran a 40 in 4.4, whereas Jordan Poyer ran his in 4.4, five tenth of a second faster just proves that these guys are a little bit more athletically gifted now they don't have the game experience that Jordan Poyer had but very close to what Jordan Poyer had when he first came to the Buffalo Bills none of these players Jalen Maiden or Zane Anderson have any game starts but they have a lot of special teams experience and they have at least seen some defensive snaps starting and not starting but playing in four games now, the point here is that we're trying to make is finding a replacement for Jordan Poyer. Looking at Jordan Poyer, he wasn't the biggest, strongest safety in the world. He's only six foot, 191 pounds. So knowing that Jordan Poyer, he did an excellent job, you know, put his face right into the thick of things, but he wasn't a guy to just lay you out. You know, he just always did the right thing. He was great in pass coverage. So we have to take a look at Jalen Maiden and Zane Anderson. Zane Anderson is actually six foot two, 205 pounds, whereas Jalen Maiden is six foot 205 pounds. Both these guys have 15 pounds on Jordan Poyer and they are faster. And again, they are not going to understand the game as much as Jordan Poyer right now. But keep in mind, we made in turn Jordan Poyer and Micah Hyde into what they are. I believe that our coaching staff could easily transform Zane Anderson and Jalen Maiden into a solidified starting safety in the NFL, especially for the Buffalo Bills. Jordan Poyer would be benefited by a bigger frame and taller frame. So looking at some guys in this year's NFL draft, we could see that there is a replacement for Jordan Poyer here, and his draft stock could very well be hurt a little bit because of his lack of size. He's actually six foot, 193 pounds. It's the same height as Jordan Poyer and only two pounds more. And he played a lot of safety and he played a lot in the slot, in the box. You know, another willing, tenacious tackler, willing to put his face in the in the thick of things. It is Alabama Brian Branch. And why this is so important is because Brandon Bean flat out said in his press conference during the NFL Combine is that he needs to do a better job bringing in players that contribute immediately. We need more out of our rookie players. We need guys that can come here and contribute now, not waiting through halfway through the season like Kyir Elam, you know, not waiting for years for these players to develop. We need a player to step in and play immediately. And Brian Branch playing at Alabama, most competitive freaking school in college, playing against the top schools in college. I think Brian Branch is the most pro-ready safety in a long time coming in and could fill in seamlessly with the Buffalo Bills. And it would also bring in that competition to, to Zane Anderson and Jalen Maiden. You know, a lot of people want to discuss DeMar Hamlin, but keep in mind, DeMar Hamlin might not be back. And DeMar Hamlin played Micah Hyde's spot on this defense. It was not Jordan Poyer's spot. 
you know, when Micah Hyde went down, DeMar Hamlin took over that side of the field. So we're looking for a replacement for Jordan Poyer. Zane Anderson, Jalen Maiden, and Brian Branch from Alabama seem to make the most amount of sense here for the Buffalo Bills. Looking at it, Bills should still take best player available. You know, whether that is a better tackle, maybe a better linebacker if we are not able to re-sign Tremaine Edmonds. There are a lot of things, or a wide receiver. Say if Jackson Smith and the Jigba's there at 27th, I think that makes a little bit more sense. But safety, when Brian Branch could can come in here under Nick Saban, a very, very pro-ready college defense, three-year starter, and he literally finished first in missed tackles. Like, he no, does not miss tackles. We know Sean McDermott in this defense we coach up the fundamentals. You have to be a willing tackler here. It is huge. Brian Branch is the perfect fit replacement for Jordan Poyer. They're the same size, the same status. They still willingness to go in there and throw their face right into the thick of things and make a tackle, but still great in coverage. He can line up in slot too. He had 1,700 snaps in college and 1,200 of them, he was actually in the slot matched up and one thing I could argue another area of concern for the Buffalo Bills is relying on Taron Johnson in that slot position. You know, Taron Johnson, he's that hybrid linebacker, cornerback role, and he matches up well against thicker, more physical slot cornerbacks. But when you start getting against the speedsters, shifty, Cole Beasley type guys, Taron Johnson isn't necessarily the best. I mean, he'll go in there and take on blockers, take on offensive linemen, but he needs a break. And I think if we could rotate a guy in and out based on matchups, this makes a lot of sense. Brian Branch coming to the Buffalo Bills with a 27th overall pick, definitely could see that going down. So Jordan Poyer is likely going to be signing with a different team. I don't know how much of priority this is for the Buffalo Bills, considering what we did again with Jordan Poyer, Micah Hyde, finding these free agents, under the radar free agents, and turning them into amazing stars in the NFL. That could very well happen with Jalen Maiden, and it could very well happen here with Zane Anderson. Brian Branch, a rookie, could very well be the decision here for the Buffalo Bills. Also, just some other pieces on this defense. Uh, Jonathan Kingsley, Brian, Brian Branch, um, and Eli Anku on this defensive line did an excellent, excellent job. You know, and I would say they even kind of outperformed Tim Settle. So there are some additional moves that the Buffalo Bills need to make, as well as Greg Mance, backup center. He could swing to both guard positions. There's a lot of players on this team that are flying under the radar, Bills Mafia. We got to pay attention to them. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider liking, subscribing, trying to bring you guys some insightful information here, some deep digging research, trying to feel out brain and bean and all these 2023 moves that are about to happen. Check you guys soon. Go Bills. Peace.